Alright, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm doing an oil change on a Mercedes-Benz C300 W204. The tools you're going to need are funnel, oil pan, uh, extension. This is a tool to get the oil filter off. 13 millimeter wrench for the uh, drain plug. 8 millimeter socket for the under tray. Once you need these washers for the drain plug. This all comes with the oil filter right here proper wrenches three-fourths and then some brake clean and then last but not least you need some 5w40 mobile one motor oil this is a uh, synthetic all right first thing you need to do is just go ahead and pop the hood it's a little red latch under here come down here find a little latch on the left side and lift the hood up so once you're under here, you're gonna to want to take off the this panel right here to expose your where well, you put the oil in right here, and then your oil filter, which is right here. And you have a dip stick in the back. You also need to have your car raised up on some jack stands or these Rhino ramps to get to the drain pan at the bottom. All right. So next, thing I'm gonna do is come down here and take off the bottom panel. It's a couple of a. Uh, eight millimeter bolts down here. And then last two bolts are on the side of the vehicle. So I have all my under trays off. You only need to take off the one under the oil pan, but I'm taking all of my trays off because I'm doing a thermostat replacement a little bit later. So this is the oil pan right here and on the driver's side of the car, which is the left tire, your oil plug will be right here. All right, so first I'm gonna do is take off the oil cap, twist it to the left. This way it'll drain easier. I put a oil catch pan right here under the drain plug. Need some more leverage, so 13 millimeter deep socket might do the trick. There we go broke off easy. I'm gonna unscrew it fully now. It should flow into the oil drain pan. All right, so with the oil drain plug, you need to change the washer on the end. I'm gonna slide the new one on. Just like that. I'll go ahead and reinstall this at the bottom of the car. I'm going to tighten it down with the 13 millimeter. So the next thing we're doing is replacing the oil filter, which is right here. Simply take your oil filter cap removal tool, slide it on there, then attach a ratchet and extension. Simply turn it to the left. Ain't no way. All right, so we ended up stripping the oil filter cap right here all the way around. None of our parts, this is the correct size. I didn't have the correct size the first time. They won't even get on there now and they just spin like that. Ended up going to the Mercedes-Benz dealership to buy this replacement part. It was about 50 bucks, 46 bucks to be exact. All right, so we just got the cap to untwist. Let me see, let me see. So look, it's, uh, it's finally unscrewing now. It took, a lot of effort we drilled a little hole through there we tried all these clamps the sure if i were to get one of those things off get you one of these chain clamp on things this will take care of the job we are so relieved oh my gosh now that that's out we untwist this <clears throat> and then have a little towel on standby to catch it like I said, we did buy a replacement filter, so this one won't be going back in. But I'll show you the other steps to get this one done too. So that's the old oil filter right there. All right, so if you didn't have a new oil filter uh, cap like this one, you would just take off your old oil filter. This slides right off like that. Then you would replace the O-rings and the new 
um, container will actually come with the rings you need, the rubber uh, gasket kind of thing. So you just take a screwdriver, pop this one right off on here, pop another one off up here, and this one right here, and replace some of these right here, and you'll be fine. If you buy a replacement for 50 bucks from Mercedes-Benz, it comes with fresh, gas fresh gaskets, uh, fresh rubber parts, everything you need. Also, what you wanna do is take some brake cleaner and spray down your uh, filter cartridge. That'll clean it up, make sure everything's all good to go. Go ahead and slide your new filter on. Just like this. Push it down with a little bit of force. And you're all set, just like that. Now, what you also wanna do is uh, oil around the edges here. So I'm gonna take some of this old oil and just kinda go around it a little bit. Around the top up here too. All right, with this piece all old up, I'm going ahead and put this back in the engine. So this will slide in just how you got it out. So right down into here, make sure it's pushed down there all the way. Simply screw it back on. Just uh, hand tighten it down. Just don't need to be crazy, extremely tight. But to get the spec, it will be 25 Newton meters. Is what it says on top of here. Also, turn it a little bit more. 25 Newton meters. All right, so I'm gonna add about eight quarts of uh, synthetic motor oil. I couldn't find exactly the number in my orders manual, but I believe it's between eight and a half, nine. So I'm gonna add eight and then top it off as needed. Have a funnel here. All right, so I'm gonna add a full five quarts first and then I'm gonna add the other three. And if you wanna clear this cold right here also, simply turn it one time to the right, so one time to the right. This is for the W204 model. Then make sure you close the door too. There we go. Get onto your trip. Here we go. Once you're on that screen, simply hit the call button and this OK button. Hit the call button first though. So hit that first and then hit the OK button. And you'll get this right here. Simply go to Assist Plus. I'm gonna hit Full Service. Confirm Full Service. And you're gonna hit Yes. I'm going to confirm. Full Service carried out. So we topped it off to about eight quarts. I'm gonna add some more later if it's needed, but you gotta let it flow through the engine a little bit more. And other than that, it's all good to go. Put the trays back on at the bottom. Clear the codes inside the car, fresh oil, no leaks anywhere. Other than that, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe also. Mm -hmm.